Deep in the jungles of Indonesia lives a monkey with a difference. Crest in black macaques value friendship above force. Their secret is good communication, and it's achieved through facial expressions that rival any in the natural world. The right look helps settle arguments, win friends, and find a mate. They look out for each other and share childcare. But if they need to fight, they do. And when danger arrives, they work as one to overcome it. Join us as we meet the monkey with a thousand faces. Indonesia comprises thousands of islands. Sulawesi is one of the largest. It's home to many extraordinary endemic animals. Like the Sulawesi bear couscous. It's a marsupial, like a kangaroo and it carries its young in a special pouch on its stomach. The Barbarossa, or pig deer, is one of the island's strangest looking animals. The knobbed hornbill is one of its biggest birds. And the tiny spectral tarsia is one of Sulawesi's most acrobatic primates. But the most intriguing animal of all lives in the Tangoko Batangas Nature Reserve, which stretches along the northeast coast of the island. This dense rainforest is home to a monkey with a difference, the crested black macaque. Since 2006, scientists and researchers have been studying them closely. The macaque's territory can cover several square kilometers, so finding them can be difficult. But the researchers know where to look. Through the leaves, they can see some unmistakable silhouettes. They found a large troop of crested black macaques. And they seem happy to have visitors. Scientists have studied them up close for years, and they aren't afraid of humans. Male crested black macaques are about 60 centimeters big, females around 45 centimeters. One of their most striking features is the crest of black hair, which earned them their name. They all have one, regardless of their sex. Crested black macaques usually live in troops of around 40 to 50. 
but this one is around a hundred strong. The researchers follow them every day and know individual members well, like the alpha male, Hero. Hero dominates the troop. There is a distinct hierarchy among male crested black macaques. The higher the rank, the more rights they have over food and mating. There are lots of youngsters in the troop too. This gang are around a year old. And this baby was only born last night. Searching for a nipple, it quietly suckles. Another baby looks even more desperate to feed. It clings on for dear life. Rest over, the troop is on the move. Crested black macaques usually travel around three kilometers a day searching for food. Fruits and nuts are their staple diet. Fresh buds and shoots are favorites too. And a large mushroom is a feast for a youngster. Hero, meanwhile, gets to grips with a large atlas beetle, an insect common in Southeast Asian forests. Black crested macaques will eat almost anything. His large fangs make light work of the beetle's tough shell. Meal time over, it's time for a siesta and a chance to see the extraordinary way crested black macaques communicate. One look can speak volumes. Like this, grimacing is a favorite expression and a form of greeting. Crested black macaques grimace to everyone in the troop, regardless of rank. Grimacing helps maintain a friendly atmosphere in the troop. So does grooming. Rummaging through fur is an intimate way of communicating and strengthens bonds. Lip smacking displays friendliness and is another favorite. An adult gently lip smacks to a baby. Adults care for each other's babies as though they were their own.
A group of mothers lip smack to each other. It strengthens their bonds. A mother cuddles another's baby as well as her own, something rarely seen among other species of monkeys and apes. Even a youngster takes an interest. It lip smacks at the baby, just like the adults. But tickling the baby scares it. And that angers the mother. She thought the baby was being bullied. The young macaque comes close again, and it's a mistake. But things change as another female arrives. She opens her mouth wide and shows her gums, an expression of anger. She's warning the mother to stop being aggressive to the youngster. The mother seems to heed the warning. She calms down and walks over to the young macaque. Perhaps to prove she's sorry. She hugs the youngster. Both smack lips as they quietly make up. Some gentle grooming reinforces the peace. Crested black macaques have fewer conflicts than most monkeys and apes. A simple experiment shows they have a different approach to strangers. A special small camera is hidden inside a box so it can film through a one-way mirror. Hopefully, it will record how the macaques react when they see their reflection. The same experiment was filmed by staff at Higashiyama Zoo in Japan. When chimpanzees saw their reflection, they reacted violently. Most monkeys and apes do when they look in a mirror. But what about crested black macaques? A youngster sees its reflection and smacks its lips, a friendly gesture. A crowd gathers. and it looks like it smiles all round. Each macaque greets its reflection warmly. There are no signs of aggression, intimidation or anger. Fights do break out among crested black macaques, but they are quickly quashed. Two youngsters start fighting. 
and it triggers another fight nearby. But a large male disapproves. And his loud call lets the young ones know it. The fights stop immediately. With most monkeys and apes, only the alpha male can make a loud call to this effect. Among crested black macaques, any male can. They avoid fights over food too. A hungry male has hit the jackpot. Honey. It's sweet, nutritious, and a macaque favorite. But suddenly, he stops eating. Heroes arrived. The higher a male's rank, the higher priority he has over food. And that's bad news for him. Now Hero's had his fill, he can have what little's left. Food often causes friction, but by respecting hierarchy, crested black macaques keep the peace. Hierarchy affects mating too. A high-ranking male finds a female he wants to mate with, completely ignoring the lower-ranking male she was with. And nearby, two males mount each other. A higher-ranking male mounts a lower-ranking male to display his superiority. Many male monkeys and apes mount each other to reinforce hierarchy. But as usual, crested black macaques often do things differently. A small male mounts a larger male. Higher ranked males sometimes allow lower ranked males to mount them, so the lower rankers can experience status. But sometimes changes to the hierarchy become violent. One of the males has a nasty-looking wound on his right arm. This is Mataba. He was the fourth highest ranking male in the troop, but he's been the victim of a power struggle. Mataba approaches Cameron who until recently was the fifth ranking male. Cameron smacks his lips. It's usually a friendly gesture, but he's baring his fangs, which means it's a threat. The two macaques have history. This is two days ago. When Mataba approaches, Cameron runs away. Mataba has higher rank, but Cameron is jockeying for his position. Cameron makes his move. Mataba counters.
but the lower ranking male has delivered a blow. Mataba is clearly wounded. While Mataba watches, Cameron starts to mate. This is an insubordinate attempt to try and prove higher rank. Mataba closes in, but Cameron doesn't flee. He touches Mataba and stays close. It's a stalemate. And then, without fanfare, the power struggle is over. Cameron approaches Mataba, who is sat on a fallen tree. When Cameron mounts a female, Mataba walks away. Their ranks are reversed, just like that. Battles over hierarchy are common among monkeys and apes. But once again, crested black macaques do things differently. When the victorious Cameron approaches, Mataba leaves. But sensing Cameron is no longer on the attack, he stops. The two macaques sit peacefully together. It's hard to believe they were fighting just minutes ago. Calm spreads through the whole troop. Evening approaches, and the troop gathers. Alpha male hero barks an order, and the macaques start climbing. Heroes decreed this is where they'll spend the night. The troop has more than 20 different places in the forest where they sleep. It's the alpha male's job to decide which one they use each night. Branches sway as the macaques grab a last snack for the day. As the sun sets, they slowly settle down to sleep. Dawn breaks, and the troop's day begins. Safely down to ground, the search for breakfast begins. Suddenly, the mood changes. It's their main enemy in the wild, a huge python. 
Alarm calls race around the troop. Mothers whisk babies to safety as the python closes in. The macaques keep their distance. Eventually, the python returns to the tree. But now, the tables turn. The macaques go on the attack. They try to pull down the tree the python is in. And it works. Back on the ground, it's a standoff. The python makes a move and slinks away into the undergrowth. It's clearly had enough. The troops' teamwork has won the day, and they seem delighted. Females lip smack and groom each other. Males smack their lips and hug each other too. For the youngsters, it's back to playing. The troops seen off danger, and that's worth celebrating. It's a new day at the Tangoko Batangas Nature Reserve. The troop has come down to the beach. Youngsters play in the surf. Some lick seawater from the fallen leaves that litter the beach. Seawater is a good source of salt and minerals. But their main reason for visiting the beach are these, sea almonds. They only grow near the ocean, as their name suggests. The macaques enjoy a treat they can't find in the jungle. The Tangoko Forest provides the troop with a wealth of different things to eat and drink. Like sweet coconut milk. And Indian mulberry fruit, a crested black macaque favorite. There is ample food in the forest all year round. And cheek pouches bulge accordingly. Mm -hmm. 
Belly's full. It's time for a nap. There are no large carnivorous mammals on Sulawesi, so they can afford to let their guard down and relax. Some sleep more soundly than others. The afternoon passes quietly by. Crested black macaques have evolved a unique way of life on Sulawesi. But their total population is only around 5,000. These remarkable monkeys are endangered, and it's humans who are responsible. Deforestation and industrial development are shrinking the macaques' home. And at one time, they were hunted for food. Today, hunting crested black macaques is banned, but poaching is still a problem. Sadly, living in a nature reserve doesn't guarantee their safety. The troop is back on the move, when suddenly the alarm is raised. A young macaque is caught in a snare and desperately tries to break free. Another macaque tries to help, but only risks making matters worse. One of the researchers goes to the rescue. He thinks the snare may have been set by local children to catch birds. The troops' panic and concern is obvious. Finally, the youngster's free. It's shaken but unharmed. Others weren't so lucky. This male lost his right arm in a trap when he was a baby. The injury could have killed him, but he survived thanks to the wealth of food in the forest and the support of his troop. With Hero at the helm, the troop is back on the move. Suddenly, the leader bears his fangs. A rival troop has crossed their path. Displaying fangs signals strength. So does standing ground. Young macaques lead the way and start the fight. The two at the back are from Hero's troop and the two in the foreground from the rival gang. 
the rivals give chase. Heroes youngsters counterattack. As the dust settles, it's a stalemate. The opponents weigh each other up. Hero and the older macaques watch from a distance. Suddenly, violence erupts again. A male from Hero's troop bites a rival. Bearing fangs keeps tensions high. The male from Hero's troop mounts an opponent to try and show his superiority. Surprisingly, the other rivals don't counter or retreat. The male from Hero's troop touches his opponent, fangs bare. A last gesture signaling the fight is over. Hero's troop has won a basically psychological battle. The first scuffle was a way of measuring their opponent's strength. Hero's males won the power play, so one mounted an opponent. The loser smacked his lips to signal his surrender. Two of the rival gang refused to accept defeat and continued to bare their fangs. But outmaneuvered and outstared, they finally gave up. Hero's troop barely resorted to violence. Victory was won mainly on the strength of pose and posture. The sky darkens, and the troop clearly knows what's coming. Rain. Some rush for shelter. Babies huddle close. The rain is relentless. There is little to do except sit and wait for the storm to pass. Eventually, the sky clears. For the troop, it's back to finding food. A small group gathers around a male called Ebra and inquisitively sniff around his mouth. He's obviously eating something special. Suddenly, Ebra's under attack. 
the higher ranking males want whatever's in his mouth. But Abra's not giving it up. Despite their rank, he resists. So one male tries a more subtle approach. Some friendly lip smacking. They try to persuade Abra to give up his food rather than take it by force. But eventually, Ebra's dogged determination wins the day. The males give up. Now he's safely alone. He reveals what all the fuss was about. A discarded plastic bag. It obviously has tasty leftovers inside. He squeezes out the last drops, chewing the bag like a giant stick of gum. The researchers notice that Raja, one of the troop's males, is missing. They think he could have left to join another group. Female crested black macaques stay in the same troop for life. But males often change troops a few times. However, joining another gang isn't easy. A lone macaque wanders the edge of the forest. It's Raja, the missing male. In Hero's troop, Raja's rank was sixth out of 13. But those days are over. And another troop has seen him. It's the rival gang Raja wants to join. But it looks like he's not welcome. A new male means more competition for females. But Raja hasn't given up hope. He raises his voice and a few of the young macaques seem intrigued. Raja smacks his lips as a friendly greeting. And it seems to work. The situation slowly changes. A young male tentatively approaches. And Raja lets him mount him. At first, the young macaque seems scared of him because he's larger. So sensing this, Raja lets himself be mounted. It's a submissive act to overcome their fear and show he isn't a threat. And it works. 
one of the macaques gently grooms Raja's fur. Raja responds in kind. Slowly, the other young macaques gather around them. Raja has won some new friends and successfully managed to join a new troop. Hero's troop, meanwhile, is relaxing. But one baby is on the move. It's keen to explore, but it isn't an experienced climber. Adults race to the rescue, but the baby is unhurt and undeterred. An anxious mother keeps watch and tries to pull the young explorer to safety. But the baby is determined to make its own way. Safely down to ground, a young female hugs it tightly. She showers the baby with affection, just as if it were her own. The young macaque will never want for love. None of them will. Through subtle communication that starts at birth, crested black macaques forge lasting friendships. For these remarkably expressive monkeys, a thousand different faces are the key to peace. <laughs>